All right, so if we look at you know, female rappers from 1976 to 1984, um, we have some prominent, prominent ones. And um, you know, first of all, we can look at Shah Rock. Shah Rock was in the Funky Four uh, Plus One. You know, we listened to some of their music when we went into um, disco rap. She was one of the, the earliest, um, most prominent on record um, you know, female rappers of, of that time. But other, other major, you know, um, you know, femcees of, of that era would be like uh, Lisa Lee, Wanda D, Debbie D. Um, you could see a lot of them, um, you know, you could see some, some, of, uh, some, uh, some of their action actually in the movie Wild Stuff. I can drum up a clip, I'll, I'll pop it for y'all. Um, now, uh, in the mid 80s, I talked about the Roxanne Wars and um, a little bit when I was talking about beef records, but um, we have Roxanne Chante um, versus UTFO, which was a group with no Roxanne in it who made a song called Roxanne Roxanne. Um, and, uh, you know, basically um, UTFO, the real Roxanne, Roxanne Chante, and then we had the Roxanne Wars, which was basically, um, you know, a whole, you know, uh, series of you know, make a record and then there's an answer record um, to it, which, you know, which is pretty, pretty interesting, you know. Um, but yeah, Roxanne Chante, another major um, early female rapper. I believe there's a Netflix movie um, biopic on her. OK, um, but, you know, we had. You know, female rappers, um, again, it was male dominated, the culture's male dominated. Um, you know, the early MCs, you know, were mostly dudes. All of the DJs were dudes. Um, but you had actually, again, like female writers, uh, bombers, and a lot of, a lot of female B girls, you know, a lot of B girls. But, you know, basically what happens in the mid 80s um, is shit changes. So, um, you know, all of the ladies, all the girls who wanted to get into rapping, you know, the industry starts to change it. Um, so but basically what happens in the mid 80s is, you know, female MCs take a peripheral role. They're like not as important. Um, they're kind of brushed aside, you know, and um, what happens within the industry, you know, is is the industry really creates, you know, the record industry, the rap industry really creates a narrative um, about them that they're available or submissive or just gone, like entirely absent. And what really kind of <clears throat> um, accelerated this was in the mid 80s, you have the music video, okay, in MTV. Now this had a major change, not only on, uh, for female rappers, but music in general. Before like the you know, MTV, which, you know, popped off in 81, before, before that, you know, the only time you, you saw recording artists were on, like, variety shows or promos, which were, like, almost like music videos, but not, um, you know, you saw them perform live. You, you rarely saw them. With music videos, the performer would sing or perform to the audience looking at the camera. And so the industry started to sign artists who may be less talented, but they looked good on screen. So if you look at like the 60s and 70s, there's a whole bunch of, you know, not, you know, um, you know, not meeting mainstream beauty standards for men and women, um, but they were fucking hella talented. You know, music video made it so like, oh, well, the, you know, um, you know, Whoever, Britney Spears, not that talented, never written her own music, doesn't write songs, um, you know, doesn't make music, but, uh, you know, uh, she looks good on screen, you know, and she can dance pretty good, you know, um, let's sign her and promote her and push her records versus like someone like Adele, who's fucking super talented, right, and also has sold records and has, and has songs out there, but, you know, um, what happened in the industry is there's a preference for people who looked good on screen, who were marketable in that way. And so, um, you know, basically what, what, what starts to happen is, you know, artists, if they were female specifically in an industry controlled by men, you know, they had to be 
uh, not only beautiful, but also willing to sexualize themselves to be mainstream. Um, and it just didn't, you know, uh, with rap, like, it's the, a lot of the, uh, the ladies involved were not having that, you know, um, and they, they were going to do it on their own terms. And that's why you had like artists like Queen Latifah and MC Light, you know, who, who did go down that route and had enough, um, capital, cultural capital to, to kind of like do their own thing.